Hey queens, welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley, and today we'll be slaying this beautiful wig from start to finish. She comes courtesy of RPG Show. This is a part of their lifestyle line, and of course you guys know I have her linked in the description box. And you guys already know, this is going to be an easy, beginner-friendly style and install, and even more importantly, it's going to be glueless. No adhesive, no bonding, no holding spray. So here's a look at the inside construction of the cap. It does include an adjustable elastic band. And as you guys can see, when I slide this bad boy on, it fits my head super snug. If your wig is going to fit glueless and you're not going to add anything at all to bond it down, it has to fit your head. I believe I received a size one cap, which is the smallest size. And I'm just going to put it on and kind of slide it back just a little bit to make sure it's not too far forward. Now here I am checking out the wig itself and seeing what we're working with. I'm going to pull all the hair backwards. That way we can go ahead and cut off the excess lace. Today I'll be working with this kit that they provided it pretty much is a glueless install or a wig install kit now i love this because it has everything you need including your spoolie your mini size scissors which are super handy and they help you get right in there super close it also included the tweezers that you'll definitely need and then of course it included your razor you guys know the razor is the best way to remove your wigs make sure to pull the hair backwards and away from your face and go at it now typically i use my own eyebrow razors and they are not this sharp honestly i this cuts like butter i'm absolutely going to be using this all the time and i love that everything is travel size so it can go into a little kit and you'll be able to be mobile with this and keep it in your carry-on or don't keep it in your carry-on if you plan on traveling and flying because tsa might confiscate it because they might see it as like scissors and stuff like that be sure to check this if you're traveling and flying Okay, so let's just go ahead and begin our styling process. I'm going to take the electric hot comb and of course I use zero product with this look. Everything was so nice that you didn't need any wax. You didn't want to really weigh it down. I wanted to make sure it maintained the nice body because that kind of is what sets the style off. But of course I wanted to make it smooth and this more so just made that parting pop. I feel like it wasn't necessarily frizzy, but it just was, you know, a little teased and fun around the hairline. I really wanted to make that parting pop because without having to do anything it just blends with my complexion so well now, this literally is a quiz quick and easy five minute or less glueless install and you can literally put this wig on cut off the excess lace and go so i went ahead and just did way too much with the electric hot comb this was not necessary at all is there a catch and it really isn't a catch like you literally can just do just that Get a load of the lace. The lace is absolutely gorgeous. 10 out of 10 chef's kiss. It blends with my complexion so effortlessly. I did not have to bleach the knots or tint the lace or anything like that. It just came this beautiful. And of course, if you want, you can move the parting around. Again, this is a lace frontal wig, so you'll be able to part it. If you want to go sideways, you can cut the bangs shorter. You can get rid of the parting altogether. You can do side swift bangs. You can do like China bangs. You can pull the wig back or forward to make it the bangs longer or shorter. There are literally so many ways that you can wear this wig. If you want to take a break from the bangs, you can like do little twisties or cornrows going back or sideways. Literally whatever you want, you can achieve with this wig. I'm using my baby Liz flat iron to go in and just bump it and just kind of like do like feather style bumps or bangs and i like the way this added a little bit of body and dimension to the hair and that is pretty much everything i needed to do after this i went ahead and put the wig on the mannequin head while i took a shower and got in the bed and guess what when i woke up i just took her off the mannequin head put her back on and we were good to go again literally no install effortless easy gorgeous Fun. and of course it's a bit funky it's something a little bit different for me and i've definitely been getting so many compliments and you guys have been asking on the gram what wig is this who is this from give us the link and here it is so beautiful absolutely gorgeous oh and if that wasn't enough look at the hairline 
you part it out. You don't even need scissors. You don't even need a rat tail comb or anything like that. You literally part it out and look how beautiful that hairline is. It's plucked and tweezed. So if you want to pull it backwards, you, they got you covered. Literally all the bases are covered. Check out this wig okay. in the description box. Okay, love bugs. I'm officially done. Oh, of course I will put on some lip gloss right before I do something like this because now it's gonna stick to my face if I shake it. I tried to have been a little bit off, but this hair has so much bounce in body. I'm so impressed and I'm so in love with it. And the best part about this is this is a glueless install. So this is going to the top of my list of wigs I can put on um, like when I'm taking my son to school in the mornings and stuff like that because you guys know how it is when you hop up and you got like 10 minutes to literally brush your teeth, wash your face and get dressed. You want to walk out the, ha the house looking decent, especially if you got to be around your your kids, teachers in the school and all of that. And so you want to make sure you have something that you can throw on that will um, you'll look good with. So I'm able to put this on. And as you guys seen in the video, it's glueless. This is it like pushed like all the way forward and to shorten the bang. So let me show you. When I push it all the way forward, obviously it covers my face, my eyes. And then I can just, instead of having to cut it, I can slide it back. And now it's still a long bang, but it goes above. So that's the beautiful thing about wigs like this with like a bang. You can push it back, especially when the wig fits right. This one fits glueless and that is key. And it is extremely important when it comes to like a bang wig, because like, trying to like bond this down and then have the bangs in the front is team too much i don't want to have to bond it down just to cover up the hairline if that makes any sense and you guys seen when i pulled the hair forward and parted it the parting the lace everything about it is so beautiful i didn't even add any like concealer and this looks better than concealer it looks better than lace tint it literally is giving scalp so it looks like you know my real hair and i just added a couple pieces in and i love that about this wig also, I really lo I love this wig. It just looks so cute. 